everything HVACR says nothing stops them. Well, unfortunately, I have some documentation to the contrary because uh, when I started up the second unit, I think the first one did fine, if I remember correctly. The second one had a failed TXV, so it immediately pumped down. So I did some checks because it is a heat pump. It makes it really easy to check TXV issues. Okay, this is, hey, this is a good, this is a good moment right here. Checking TXV failure on heat pumps, like a really, really easy thing to do because on an AC, all the refrigerant flows in one direction. So you can't reverse it on a heat pump. You can reverse it by initiating a reversing valve. Basically you send 24 volts to a reversing valve or take it off and you reverse the flow of refrigerant. So if you have a failed TXV on one side of the system or the other, meaning on the evaporator coil or indoor coil would probably be more, probably be more accurate because when you're in the heating cycle with a heat pump, that evaporator coil and cooling is now the condenser coil. It, they change uh, coil types. So you might have a metering device that's failed in cooling that whenever you put it into cooling, it pumps down because it's slammed closed. It won't open. But in heating, you can see everything's working fine or vice versa. And heating valve can be shut down and you can reverse it into cooling and everything's fine. So it's kind of, it's much easier to troubleshoot than doing an AC because on an AC, you can have things pumped down but it will indicate a restriction, but not, not guaranteed it's a TXV. You have to do some further troubleshooting sometimes. You might have to chase, chase, chase like a frost buildup, something like that. You might have to check temperatures across a component. But on a heat pump, you can probably, probably be more expeditious with it. Because if it's a restriction going both ways, then you, you can really narrow that down fast. Because you go right to like the dryer or something like that which is most likely the dryer. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.